Burglaries are big business. In the UK, it's thought they're committed every 40 seconds. So protecting our loved ones and most precious possessions is a top priority. Thankfully, in recent years, we've seen smart home security cameras hit the shelves, promising to keep an eye on your gaff, and the smartest can even detect movement, recognize faces, and send alerts to your mobile. Pretty smart stuff, right? But they don't come without their failings. For example, if a thief is in your front room, fiddling with your 60-inch TV, it's great if you've got a camera in there. But what if he's in your bedroom messing about with your bling? The problem is, cameras can only see what you point them at, so if you don't have them scattered all about your house, you're not fully protected. But there may be a better way, swapping our cameras for something with an all-seeing eye. Or should I say ear? Today, I'm visiting Audio Analytic, who have developed clever software which lets gadgets listen to our homes and, thanks to AI, decide if the sounds they hear are anything to worry about and alert you to danger. To find out how it works, I'm meeting Head of Data, Thomas Lacornu. Apps like Alexa and Shazam recognise speech and music. So what's different about the technology you're developing? Music and speech are two important sounds, but they're really only, you know, a small part of the kind of the soundscape. And our tech is, is really able to give machines a, a sense of hearing because we, we're able to recognise many different types of sound. So if I was to install this technology in my house, say, it would be able to distinguish between sounds that might mean harm for me and those that I can just ignore and, and go about my business with. Exactly. So you can imagine you've put some food in the microwave, it's finished, a beep goes off. That's a very different type of beep to, say, the beep of your smoke alarm. Their software, which they call AI3, uses artificial intelligence that's trained by a database of over 15 million different sounds Audio Analytic have painstakingly recorded. These sounds are broken down into tiny pieces, which lets AI3 learn which part makes each unique. This means that a gadget like a smart speaker can become even smarter by recognising not just speech, but millions of everyday, real-world sounds. This sound map shows just how complex a task it is to identify different sounds and the relationship between them. You can see there are areas of the sound map where there's lots of overlap, there's lots of different colours and it kind of looks like one big blob. This blob is made up of millions of tiny dots, which represent the different sounds the company has recorded and shows how AI3 has cleverly grouped them. For example, red shows all the different types of broken glass it knows and green, barking dogs. That's really what we're trying to achieve when we teach our machine learning models is to, to understand the, the separation between these, these different types of sound. Where do you get your sounds from? Do you just turn on the radio or, or TV and press record? A lot of the sounds that you may hear on the radio or television or in movies are kind of fake sounds, so we have to collect all of these sounds ourselves. Oh, wow, recording yourselves. So they can record as pure a sound as possible, they've built a special sound studio called a semi-anechoic chamber, which is covered in polyurethane high-density foam and is designed to eliminate sound bouncing off the walls. So I think the best thing I can do is to give you a demonstration. And for his demo, Thomas had something very dramatic in mind. Even though Thomas is using blanks, the sound the gun makes echoes loudly after firing it. But when he fires the gun back inside, the sound is very different. Oh, wow. So that was like, it, it, it wasn't any less loud, but without it bouncing off the walls, it did f actually feel as though the sound was suppressed. Yes. Muffled almost. Squashed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Although this squash sound isn't what we hear in the real world, having a high-quality studio recording means they can manipulate these sounds as if they had been recorded in different environments, like inside an echoey bathroom or from a distance. This means the AI can not only recognise different sounds and categorise them, but also figure out how these sounds change in a variety of settings. So unlike a camera which has to see danger, AI3 can detect a potential problem which might be out of sight and alert you to it. And when in Rome, or a semi-anechoic chamber built inside a warehouse just outside of Cambridge... Talk! Oh. 
it's time for me to add yet more sounds to their database to further improve AI3, of course. Smashed it. Audio analytics sound detection software is already being used in smart security devices like the Hive Hub 360, but they plan for their tech to protect much more than just our homes, like giving autonomous cars the ability to hear a siren or headphones which warn you of an approaching speeding vehicle. So I could be wearing those whilst jogging, listening to the mamas and papas, and it would be able to alert me about dangers just around the corner or around me. Exactly. And with an ever-growing catalogue of sounds, the tech is only going to get better. Sounds ideal.